There's a certain magic that takes a month to hand make seven acres of more than 30 lanterns. We are so excited after um, not being able to have the festival for two years. It is back. If you've been to the Chinese Lantern Festival before, what's new? This time, there will be fountain shows, performances each night, more food and drink options. So every section of this park has a different theme, and you can clearly tell we're in the red lanterns right now. But back there near the fountains, we've got some sea life, there's a flower tunnel, and even a little place for pandas. We think uh, Philadelphia is, is a very big city, and uh, there are many Chinese people, you know. We want to make them feel home. Program manager Lu Liang brings the show to Philly from her hometown, Sichuan, in southwest China. It's known as the birthplace of Chinese lanterns. With her comes a huge crew of artists to paint all of these by hand. There's no specialized uh, uh, teaching institution. It's just a passing down from generation to generation. And it's not just arts and culture. The festival's mission to boost local businesses. We know that this time during the pandemic was especially hard for Chinatown and the community. And it's one of the reasons why we wanted to bring the Lantern Festival back. We know that this is an economic driver for Chinatown. So many Chinatown restaurants offering festival discounts, a win-win for all. At Franklin Square, Karen Hua, NBC 10 News.